You're so going to tell us about some over-unders, and uh, let's get started. You bet. What? So, obviously, the Houston Astros, the reigning 2022 World Series champions, won 106 games last season and added Jose Abreu to that lineup. But, of course, you lost the reigning AL Cy Young Award winner in Justin Verlander. So, my question is, over-under... 99 and a half wins for Houston in 2023. Four of the last six seasons, 100 plus. Harold, what say you? Well, you would think all the things he said, you say, yes, I'm saying under. It's hard to win 100 games. Really? Yeah. Oh, I go over. Okay. I think absolutely over. I think the Mariners are better. I think the Angels are better. That's just in their division. And now we're getting out of the division and playing more. And, and, uh, the Rangers are better, too. So, no, nah, I don't think they get 100 wins. I think that, the, yes, they're going to play other teams that are better, but I also think you're coming off a World Series win, and you've got the confidence, and you're going to go out there and play like it. You're going to play like some World Series champs. I, I like your confidence. All right, Orso, yeah. what we got next? What you got, Orso? By the way, no team's won consecutive World Series titles since the 98 through 2000 Yankees. I didn't say they were going to win the World Series. I know, or so. but I'm just I just said there. 99 and a half wins. I'm taking the over. Okay, you take the over. By the way, Kyle Tucker had an amazing year for Houston last year. 30 home runs, 25 stolen bases, and obviously a World Series championship. There's only been one player in Astros franchise history to have a 30-30 season, and that's Jeff Bagwell. So, over under for Kyle Tucker, 29 and a half home runs and 29 and a half stolen bases. I say over. I think he's 30 30. He's getting better every year. He's entering to his prime. He knows what he can do. And now he knows that number's out there. I don't think he looked at it and said, man, I need five more steals. Along the course of the season, as well as he hit, he could have found five more bases to steal. That will happen this year. I am going under. Of course you are. Just, I, well, I Why? just want to, because Why? I want to disagree with you. Okay. That's it. Right. That's it. I just want to disagree with you. Oh, or so, what do we got next? <laughs> By the way, uh, only Corey Seager was shifted upon more times last season than Kyle Tucker. He's going to get more opportunities to get on base. Yeah, I like now, it. Now, Jordan Alvarez had an amazing 2022 season, finished third in AL MVP voting. Career high, 37 home runs in 130 plus games last season. But he was even better than that prior to his injury. Take a look at this. Before his hand injury, he was better than Aaron Judge last season and was on pace to be the American League MVP. So by that stretch, over under 39 and a half home runs for the great Jordan Alvarez. Oh yeah, he hits 40 plus. I'm gonna agree with you. Wow. Absolutely. Give me some. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you, especially because you, you take away the injury. He was already on pace to do it, as we just saw on that board. So I'm going over. Or so. Well, let's take a look, by the way. We talked about the hitting for a little bit. Let's take a look at the starting pitching. Framber Valdez is now the ace of the Houston Astros. Right. With Justin Verlander gone. He led the American League in innings last season and complete games with three. One of the arguably one of the best Three left-handed pitchers game. in baseball. So over under three and a half complete games, 2023. Under. Under. They're not gonna. They're not gonna. He's not gonna be a workhorse like that this year, especially as the ace. I, I, I tend to agree with you on that. I say under. Sadly. You can't. But you can't. You can't jeopardize him by throwing three, him out there for three complete games. Though, what a joke. <laughs> Why? Oh. Why? Why do you really? say that? Because we got to pitch deeper in games. That's that's three complete games. You so you want you want him to pitch like what nine ten complete games? If he's throwing hundred and ten pitches, what's the matter? Because you don't want to risk any type of injury or overuse, Harold. If he throws hundred and twenty or hundred ten pitches, it doesn't matter. If it's a complete game or if it's seven innings or eight innings. I, uh, no, I, I'm disagreeing with you. Right. I don't think you do it, especially now that he's your ace. You don't have Verlander anymore. Clearly a generational healthy. gap. It's I a, like it. What are you trying to say? It's, well, guys, it's a, used to it's a millennial. Have 20 complete games. I mean, come on. We're seeing three. It, it, that's impressive. Most guys don't throw any complete games. Dude, that's okay. the difference. Or so you got one more. That's the difference. I'm not impressed with three complete games. She is. 
By the way, guys, only four pitchers in baseball last season threw two or more complete games. So I mean, it's definitely see, thank a downward you. See? trend. It's it's it is impressive. It definitely it, it's, is. It's shameful. You know what's also impressive? <laughs> Hunter Brown. He's gonna be taking likely taking Justin Verlander's spot in the Astros rotation. Had a, a great year last season between the minors and majors being a World Series champion. He may never throw a complete game his whole career. He may not, Harold, or he may throw 30. Who knows? But here's the big thing for this season. Over under 145, 149 plus strikeouts, 149 and a half, because how many innings is this guy going to throw this year? He threw 130 between the minors and the majors last season and struck out 157 batters. This kid has got it all. And I think early season prediction here, this is your 2023 American League Cy Young winner. He's got everything. 100 plus mile an hour fastball, power curve, great. But will he get to 150K? You guys tell me. Harold, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm not, I, I, I can't even give you an over and under. I don't, I don't know. Seriously? You can't, you can't well, you can't compare. You're doing it that, that easy. You Come can't on. compare the minors with the majors. It's not the same thing. Like 157 that. strikeouts in the minors, correct or so? Correct. I said yeah, okay, between under. the minors and the majors. Okay, fine. You want me to pick under? I'm with you. I agree. Under. under. It's hard. Hard to get 150 Ks. 